All right, welcome you all to Mysteries and Maths of Equilateral Triangles, 77 Days to Cat. Deathly Hallows, as you all know, was made up of an equilateral triangle. Yes, it had an in-circle and an altitude as well. Now, from that trivia, let's head straight to Maths of Equilateral Triangles. Starting with some basics, if I have an equilateral triangle of sides S, then the perimeter obviously is 3S. Altitude, which is also the height, is given as, so if this is S, this is S by 2, so this becomes root 3 into S by 2. The area therefore becomes half into this height into the side, which is base. So this becomes root 3 by 4 S square, right? So altitude and area is done. Not talking about in radius and circum radius. We know that the centroid divides the median in the ratio 2 is to 1. In an equilateral triangle, the altitude, the median, the, the perpendicular bisector and the angle bisector, all the four are same. Hence, the orthocenter, centroid, in center and circumcenter are all the same points, right? So therefore, this ratio is 2 is to 1. We know that from this point, which is also the in center, perpendicular to the side is given as small r, which is in radius. And from this point, which is also the circumcenter, joining the vertex gives us capital R. So capital R to small r is 2 is to 1. And sum of capital R and small r is equal to the height, which is root 3s by 2. Hence, we can very easily calculate capital R, which is circum radius, which is given as if you have s into root 3 by 3, which is basically s upon root 3. And we have in radius as s upon 2 root 3. I hope this is clear to you. So in radius and circum radius are also known. If you know the in radius, you can calculate the area of the in circle pi r square. And similarly, if you know the circum radius, you can calculate the area of the circum circle. I hope this is clear to you. Let's move ahead. See some very interesting properties. Keep them noting as you may not find it in some of the books. First is a triangle inequality. If A is the area and P is the perimeter of a triangle, then area must be less than equal to root 3 into P square by 36. For example, let's say perimeter is 3. You know, so we saw we see an equilateral triangle 1, 1, 1. So perimeter is 3. So if you just plug it in, root 3 upon 36 into 3 square is 9. So area is root 3 by 4. Remember, this equality sign always holds only for equilateral triangle. For all the other triangles, area is always less than root 3 p square by 36, where p is the perimeter. You can use it and, you know, answer option elimination in a lot of triangle questions. Let's move ahead. Something called a, a Euler's inequality. What is an Euler's inequality? If capital sm small r and capital R are the radii of the inscribed and circumscribed, then r is always greater than or equal to 2r. You already know that uh, capital R is equal to 2R only for an equilateral triangle. For all the other triangles, which are non-equilateral triangles, capital R will be greater than 2 small r. There is something called a Viviani's theorem. For any point inside an equilateral triangle, the sum of the distances to the sides is equal to the height of the triangle. If I take any point inside an equilateral triangle and if I draw perpendicular to the sides, the sum of the distances will be equal to the height of the equilateral triangle, which is root 3 by 2 into s. You take any point, you can find it out. You know, uh, easiest way to find out is take the point on the centroid itself. What is the largest inscribed square in a triangle? So if I have an equilateral triangle of side 1 unit, what is the area or the side of the largest square that can be inscribed? Very, very simply, if I take these as 1, 1, 1, I can take, let's say, let's say the square as x, x. So this becomes, this, because these are symmetric, will become 1 minus x upon 2, 1 minus x upon 2. And since this is x, here I have an equilateral triangle. So this becomes x and this becomes 1 minus x. So I can use Pythagoras theorem. Hypotenuse is this, base is 1 minus x by 2 and perpendicular is x. Can find out the length is 2 root 3 minus 3. So you can remember this as a property. If you want, you can derive it also. If the smallest equilateral triangle in a unit square, so let's say I have a unit square here. If I have a unit square, I'll take an equilateral uh, triangle with one unit as. 
the side then the area becomes root 3 by 4 right and the side is one unit if i have to take the largest equilateral triangle then i'll have to do a little math here so what math can be done very very simply if i take this as a i take the this 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 is a unit square so this becomes 1 minus a this becomes 1 minus a this becomes a this is a and this is 1 so this is root a square plus 1 it's an equilateral triangle so this will also be a square plus 1 uh, so square of hypotenuse is perpendicular square plus base square from here a can be calculated so if you do this calculation you will get the sides of the largest equilateral triangle will be root 6 minus root 2 equilateral wishes for cat 2022 thank you so much god bless